I'm so glad you're here. I just want to apologize and say if I look a little awkward, it's because I'm in my in-laws kitchen and my hair is a mess and my glasses are on and my house is under construction and my craft space is currently doesn't have power. So I had to get on here so I could get this video up for you. Today I'm going to do a cellophane tumbler. This is part one. I'm going to show you how to apply the cellophane and give you some tips and tricks to make sure that you get it perfect so you don't have to do layers and layers and layers and layers and layers because if you do it wrong, I don't know, it's, it's not pretty. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you can know exactly what to do. If you wanna see part two, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when I post it. I'm gonna be doing the glitter and the Milky Way in part two. I will link everything that I use below, and as always, I appreciate your support by using those links when you go to make any purchases. I am so excited to show you this tumbler. They are so versatile. The cellophane looks different over different colored bases. So you can, the sky's the limit, you could do different colors for your Milky Way, different colors for your glitter. You can have a wide variety of different cups using this method. So. Stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you some different samples of the cellophane over different color bases. So you can see how you can change the look of this cup. As always, comment below if you have any questions or reach out on Instagram and I will be happy to answer your questions there as well. Let's get going. So I purchased this roll of iridescent cellophane. It's like a giant roll. I got it on Amazon. So you only need a little bit per cup you're gonna cut a piece and just sort of crinkle it up with your hands and then you're gonna cut it up into various size smaller pieces I didn't you know do them the same size or the same shape I just went randomly to get small pieces to go on the cup if you actually want to try this and want to just get a little bit of cellophane without buying the entire roll shoot me a message on Instagram I'm happy to send you some um, just message me if that's what you're looking for. So again, just various different sizes and make sure you start with a prepped cup. I'm using a white base, so sanded and a few coats of universal white. I am brushing bright tone over the entire cup. I would say that next time I would just do it sort of patch by patch. So I went through and put bright town over the entire surface and I think next time I would recommend just doing it little by little so just you know wipe your bright tone just big enough to put your piece of cellophane on and then um, add more bright tone for each piece that you add but again it whatever you want so I got my whole cup covered and then I started adding piece by piece I didn't leave room at the top because I cut it off later but I would recommend also um, leaving some room at the top so I just placed it on the bright tone and used my finger to flatten out the piece of cellophane I didn't want them to overlap like too much so it's almost like a little puzzle trying to get your cellophane on your cup but since I'm going to do a Milky Way style over the top of this, I wasn't too concerned if there were empty spaces or too much overlap because I knew I could cover it up strategically with my glitter and my Milky Way. So if you have any stubborn little edges of your cellophane, you really want to get those down. So what I did was, if I needed to, I just stuck my finger right into the bright tone and added a little bit more on the edges. Again, if you have a little corner sticking up, it's gonna take you like way too many layers to get it done. So you wanna make sure you do everything you can to get it fully flat. Now again, I have mine hanging over the edge and I used a cup edging tool to remove that little top piece, but I would just recommend um, leaving the space at the beginning because that's just one extra step that I had to take. And it didn't come off as easily <laughs> as I wanted. So I, I would recommend leaving space at the like little bit of the rim and using your um, Milky Way style to cover it up later. So just keep going and get your entire cup covered. Once I got the entire cup covered, I let it dry overnight. Um, I wanted to be sure that it was extra, extra dry. 
but you can see that I have the whole cup covered. There's a little bit of overlap, but I think it looks cool. And I let it dry for at least four hours, but I did it overnight. Again, take your finger to get down any stubborn pieces when necessary. So I ended up sealing my cellophane with E6000. So I shook it up real well and then poured it into a medicine cup. And what I did was just use a foam brush to do a coat over the cellophane. I let this coat of E6000 spin on my spinner, my cup turner for an hour. And then I added a second coat. I let that spin for an hour and then I did a third coat. And I let that completely dry for about three or four hours before I moved on to the bright tone. I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't repel the bright tone with the cellophane. And as well as I wanted to use as little layers as possible to get this surface smooth. So once that was dry, I actually ended up taking my hair dryer and lightly going over the cellophane. I did was very careful to not keep it in one place for too long because I did not want to compromise the crystal egg, but it sort of helps like melt it to the cup and get any stubborn pieces completely flat. I wouldn't skip that step. So once that cooled off, I added my bright tone, about two milliliters per layer, and letting each layer dry for about four hours in between. You can see that um, on the bottom, I have a little chunk missing. You can see by my finger on the left side, because when I cut the edges on the top and bottom, some of the cellophane came off. Um, so that's why I recommend waiting or just skipping that step by leaving some space. But I knew I was gonna glitter it, I knew I was gonna Milky Way it, so it wasn't a huge deal. So again, I did about five or six coats, and after that fifth or sixth coat, I took 400 grit sandpaper and sanded my surface. I wanted to get this super smooth as quickly as possible. So I do a nice good sand, lightly, but make sure that when you touch it, it's starting to get smooth. And then once you're done sanding, you can rinse the cup with water to remove any of the dust particles and then dry completely. You can use a coffee filter or a paper towel. I like coffee filters because they are lint free. So that first sanding I do after about five or six coats, and then I continue my coats of bright tone every four hours, and I sand again after three more coats, every three coats um, when necessary. There's no saying exactly how many coats you're gonna need, but you wanna get the surface pretty smooth before you move on to adding glitter and your Milky Way portion. So. Again, just keep going with your layers, sanding every three coats until you get a smooth surface. Once it's smooth, it is ready for glitter and then your Milky Way. So what I'm gonna do is in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I add glitter and the Milky Way to this style cup. And before I close out the video, I want to show you what the cellophane looks like on different colors. So I did a white base and it kind of has like a purple yellow hue to it and it looks different when you put it over different color bases. So over the yellow or the purple, you kind of see a little bit more like green, but you can see the purple through it. And it's just a really cool way to, to give your cup some texture, but also see your base through. So it looks different depending on the color you have underneath it. And then it just makes it a cool cup. So make sure you're subscribed and you can be the first to see how I do the glitter and Milky Way part in next week's video.